Have you tested your mycotoxin using different methods and found different results? Completely normal. Why is that? They're all testing different things. Urine mycotoxin testing is testing what your body is excreting. And the blood test, the MyMyco antibody test, mycotoxin antibody, is testing what is your immune system freaked out about? Totally different questions. So we get totally different answers. Now, hopefully, if you're doing a urine mycotoxin test, you're on a low mycotoxin diet. So we know that what's coming out is actually from your body and not your diet. If you want a handout, that's in the footer of my website, drkrista.com slash handouts, urine mycotoxin test prep. That will give you the diet du jour, meaning I'm checking the research all the time and I'm adjusting that handout by the things that we're seeing are high in mycotoxins. So please do that homework, three days. There's a 48 hour washout period for most mycotoxins. So we know that what we're testing is, or we have more confidence that what we're testing in your body, in your mycotox or in your urine is actually from your body. So we, I teach this in my doctor course for doctors, how to pick the right test for your patient to answer the question you're trying to answer at that moment. And it's different for everyone. So if you're seeing different results, if you did the blood test versus the urine test, that's not a versus, that's an and. My advice, pay attention to all the positives. Positives mean we found something. Your body will react differently to each mycotoxin and it will be able to excrete or not excrete differently depending on what's going on with your body and how you can detox and depending on what's going on with your immune system and how much antibody reaction or immune freak out that you're having to that mycotoxin. If you pay attention to all of them, we know what our full homework needs to be and you can get better faster. So don't freak out. If you have found different results, it's not because the lab is junk, it's because it's answering different questions. All right, so if it's urine mycotoxin testing through Great Plains slash Mosaic or Vibrant, I avoid glutathione because if you take glutathione, it can make it look lower than it actually is. If you're really dehydrated, the real-time lab can make your mycotoxins look higher than they really are. And when we do the mycotoxin antibody test, if you have a low immune immunity, so a low total IgG or IgE, that could make it look more healthy or normal than it really is. So these are all the things that I'm teaching in my doc course. Um, if you're a practitioner listening, you can get mold literate certified and we go over this. Um, but as a as someone testing yourself, if you did your own lab experiment doing two different methods and you found different results, that's normal. It's telling you different things. Pay attention to the positives so you can conquer mold and take back your health.